Keep running your mouth. Keep running your... Jamal Charlo says he will fight Triple G. He's open for that. We're going to talk about it. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Jamal Charlo, he was on his social media. He said a couple different things. We're going to talk about it. In this live, he says... Who am I gonna fight? Where are they at? Can we address that David Benavidez issue? Come on, man, knock it the uck off. I've never been scared of anybody ever. So he said he ain't ducking smoke with nobody. Where the real champions at? Who do you wanna see me fight next? What makes the most sense? I'm thinking Eubank or somebody makes sense because I'm not at 168. So I'm not even a super middleweight. I'm actually challenging their ish. Who is going to get that bag? I'll fight Triple G. He goes on to say, Chris Eubank. That's why I don't want to fight with Eubank because you already doubt that fight. They know I'm bigger than him. I remember when Eubank daddy pulled up on me and tried to size me up. His daddy was shivering. I was telling him, what are you looking at? end quote so you know jamal charlo he, he was just off the top talking on on instagram listen my thing is all these fights sound good to me jamal charlo chris eubank jr that's a good fight him versus david benavidez if he wants to move up to 168 um the other fights would be triple g i i really don't think the triple g fight will happen you know and Part of the problem is the zone. The zone is part of the problem in my my view, because the zone is like it's like if there's somebody on drugs and they're strung out, the zone is the enabler. The zone continues to pay out fighters that are certain fighters, we'll say, like Canelo's and Triple G's, and overpay them for fights that aren't really being demanded so therefore the zone is enabling the problem Canelo's fighting Yildrum and he's gonna make more money than you know the next guy on the next platform or whatever who's fighting real competition and that's one of the problems in boxing now I'm I understand seniority and working your way up but you still got to make it make sense what the zone is doing another reason is bad is because it don't make sense even for their business like yeah for canelo and his family they're getting paid you know that's great for them but for the world of boxing are these the fights that we're really asking for and for DAZN as a company are you seeing a return on your investment and really seeing um roi on the fights that you're putting with some of these guys you know what i mean and that's the true question same goes for golovkin if not worse canelo to a degree at least he's flexing his weight you know going to 175 to fight sergey kovalev or fighting a caleb smith you know who is a champion you know those are both champions at least and he did a unification with jacob so at least canelo has those triple g his run on the zone has been far worse for his stature and the amount he's getting paid in addition triple g had something that canelo didn't even have which is equity in the company so DAZN Bucks or whatever their little deal is. So he's getting a bag. He's not making as much as Canelo, but he's getting a bag plus equity in, in you know, some type of stock or DAZN Bucks or whatever. And most of Triple G's fights on the platform have been horrendous. You look at his three completed fights. One of them was good. And that was the Devonchenko fight. That on paper, that was, they were the highest ranked people with the IBF and it was a title fight and the fight itself was good but in that fight triple g was pushed he looked bad he almost got stopped they said triple g you know wasn't really motivated or he didn't look motivated i don't know if he underestimated or didn't train right or whatever but he didn't look great in that fight i thought devicheco easily won so that's one fight he also didn't do the rematch and he let a black fighter jamal charlo clean up 
his leftovers. Instead of making that right and saying, hey, I could beat Derevchenko, and not only could I beat him like fair, where everyone believes it, but I, you know, I'll beat him cleaner and have an easier time, aka show those adjustments. Instead, he allowed Derevchenko to move on and get punished by Jamal Charlo, who's now calling out Triple G and looking for his next assignment or whatever. But beyond that, Triple G's other fights were his last fight, Camille says Meta, a guy with 21 fights, five knockouts, no power, unknown, unheralded, didn't move the needle. And then before that was Steve Rolls, a guy who had never fought in a 12 rounder, fought like one or one 10 rounder or something like that. How are these fights being approved? How is Triple G at that point getting $15 million plus equity for fights like that? And now he's being called out by Jamal Charlo. He's been called out by Demetrius Andre, somebody who is aligned with that same very side. And I doubt we'll see those fights. Then Triple G was in negotiations recently with Jaime Munguia, and I talked to my people, my sources, and they had told me way before it was reported that those talks had, had broken up and fallen through. And just so you guys know that my sources, like I'm not just reading a, a website or whatever, because I'll give you a little bit more of insight that hasn't been reported. So since Jaime Mugia Triple G isn't going down, he may fight another fighter from the same place, you know, same region of, of Triple G. So that's the only hint I'll give you guys. We'll see. And um, when it happens, just know who said it first, right? So Triple G doesn't look like he wants to fight even Jaime Mugia. That's a difficult style. Just based on if Jaime Mugia is durable like he's been so far, he's a better inside fighter, good combination punching, etc. So, unfortunately, it don't look like Triple G wants to fight the 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 toughest stylistic matchups for him. Andre, the Jamal Charlos of the world, even Jaime Mugia, who's just youthful and has inside fight game, combination punches, left hook, uppercuts, you know, things like that. So... Even though Jamal Charles is saying I'll fight Triple G, I don't really see this fight happening because I feel like Triple G is looking for guys that he knows he could beat, you know, like Ryota Murata in Japan. He's, he's just, he's on this last leg of his career. Since he left Abel Sanchez, he hasn't necessarily looked the best. He was getting touched up by Steve Rose. I told you I thought Devonchenko beat him. Even in the fight with Camille Sesmeta, he got some knockdowns and won every round, but he was also looking winded. It just doesn't look like the same Triple G, nor does it look like he has the style that has longevity in the sport, or maybe his passion has has changed. But if he wants to prove me wrong, which I know he most likely won't, he could fight Jamal Charlo and fight guys like that and prove it wrong and beat them. And then that'll be a great notch on your belt and towards your legacy. So. We'll see what's next for Jamal Charlo. He says he'll fight Triple G. Unfortunately, I think that side is just looking for more money grab, cash out opportunities. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Egos I Know. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.